Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. In today's landscape, which at times can be oversaturated with stories of migration, Julia Solomonoff's intense, elegantly structured drama stands out. It's called Nobody's Watching, AKA Nadia Nos Mira. Driven by a landmark performance by Argentinian actor Guillermo Fenning and shot over three seasons in New York City, the film pieces together the story of a successful actor who gradually realizes that his American dream is not at all cracked up to be. The film premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival to critical acclaim, and you can see why coming up right here on American Latino TV. Brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. I am Julia Solomonov. I'm a writer, director, I'm a filmmaker. Do you have the receipt? $90 is your change. Do you want store credit or cash? Cash, please. I am from Argentina. I first came to the U.S. with a scholarship to study at Columbia University with a Fulbright to do a master's in cinema to write and direct. I started working in the film industry very young, at 19 or 20, in Buenos Aires. I was studying film and I got like a first an internship and then started working in the casting departments and then in editing departments, sound department, and then finally as assistant director. So I was able to move very well from different departments, which is strange because in general, it's not only just gender and leveled, it's also in general, the tracks are very fixed. Now, growing in my own career, yes, I did find probably more obstacles, like the, what they call, you know, the, the glass ceiling. And it's like, oh, it was okay to be the assistant, but it's not that easy now to be the director, or it's not that easy to jump into the producer role. Like those roles, there is a little bit more of an invisible barrier that, you know, I've been able to, to work through it and to navigate through it. Hola, Nico. Espero que tu experiencia en Nueva York vaya bien. Ya pasó mucho tiempo, ¿no? Ya está. Nobody's Watching, that is also, I mean, the original title is Nadie Nos Mira. It's a film that is in Spanish and English, and it's a film that really kind of feeds from a, a many experiences, personal and or very, very close to me, and very many observations and little scenes and sentiments of basically almost 20 years of being between two languages, between two countries, between two cultures, between Buenos Aires and New York. It's a film about an actor that was relatively known in Argentina that decides to move to New York to try his luck, to work in a film by a Mexican director that the film falls apart and he realizes he doesn't want to go back to Argentina because he's a very proud, arrogant Argentino <laughs> who doesn't want to go back empty-handed, so ends up working in many different things and one of them is as a manny which is also something for me interesting that is a, it's a new generation of nannies and the guys that now are more needed in families that are either, you know, two moms or single moms or older dads. The, the figure of the, of the male nanny for me is something that as a mother I started observing and I was very intrigued by. It's also a love story or a, and a story of getting out of love and finding yourself again, getting out of a toxic relationship, but it's mostly a story about somebody trying to find his place and where he belongs and his own idea of success and failure and his own idea of what growth is. Hola Nico, espero que tu experiencia en Nueva York vaya bien. Ya pasó mucho tiempo, ¿no? Ya está. Columbia University, they called me because I was an alumni and they was basically my professors that now became my colleagues and I taught there for five years as an adjunct and I really loved it and still I have incredible relationship with my students. One of the things I love both of Colombia and NYU is that it's very international. After a few years, they called me from NYU, and for me, it's it's almost like being a witness to the future of cinema because you get to see people that then will go back to Senegal or to India or to come to LA to do their careers, and uh, it's very interesting to to be to see that energy when it, it's like seeing the pot when it starts to boil right before it gets off, and it's really interesting to to witness that, you know, what triggers that. 